Merry Christmas and a happy 2021 to you all as uh, this video will probably not be uploaded until then but uh, I am opening up something very special for Christmas today. This for me is my Christmas gift to myself and to the company in, in some respect but uh, this is my Exa that I just picked up with Dodonpachi Sai Daiojo, the limited edition. So we in here, we've got the PCB will be in this box. Um, over here, I gotta grab the... Uh, here, we've got the other box here is the uh, Sai Daiojo, should be the Sai Daiojo kit and the Akatu Blue kit that we ordered. Um, the standee is not here yet, so I will be opening it a little bit later in the video once that comes in. Uh, but for now, I'm going to get these open, and I'm probably going to do a first test of the PCB on this diamond black here behind me. And uh, we're going to go from there, and somewhere down the line I'm going to do a test on the PRAS cabinet, which is our kind of final destination for this kit. But as well, uh, if I get a chance, I don't have any rotated net cities right now, but I'll want to test one in a rotated net city. Maybe I'll do the one that I have set aside at the warehouse. And finally, I'll probably take the super gun and hook it up to one of the 4K displays in the house and kind of just get a look at all of that. But I wanted to do all of that with the EXA at some point, and this is a good chance for me to do it. Um, and also a good chance for me to do a follow-up video to the PRES 3 cabinet that uh, we did, well, I guess at this point that we will upload um, around the 1st of January, or uh, I think it was end of the year. Anyway, whatever it is, that video is going to be uploaded by the time uh, this comes around. So anyway, without further ado, let's start with the cab, or the, the, the PCB itself. I'm going to pull it up here, and as you can see, they uh, packed everything in bubble wrap all the way around, but inside you can actually see the original box for the EXA. Um, I don't know if that's going to show up too well in the camera, but you can see it, you know, kind of coming through there, and uh, it's got all this fragile tape on it, and actually written on there is David Type B, and that's for me. That's because I chose the Type B uh, standee, and we'll see what we get with this. So, all right, I'm gonna pull this over here, and let's open it up. So, first thing, also I noticed I can hear it kind of rattling around a little bit inside, so hopefully everything's okay, but probably is. This shipping was very fast. I think it only took around two days to get here um, despite it was supposed to show up yesterday but it showed up the day before so it was it was here when I got back from my business trip uh, I'm gonna set aside the paperwork there and I'm just I don't really want to go at this I'm just gonna do a big old cut in the top here and uh, get this box torn out basically I guess okay so it looks like underneath it is a thicker layer of bubble wrap uh, with larger bubbles so I mean as as expected you would, you would want something like this to be exceptionally well packed, um, especially at the, the cost of what it is. But I expect nothing less than utter professionalism from EXA. Okay. Peeling off layers of bubble wrap here. I'm gonna be careful not to cut into this box because there is still a collector in me that wants to keep the box nice and pristine, of course. It would be remiss of me to do otherwise, considering everything in general. Who knows, you know, if there ever comes a time I have to sell the kit, I'd like everything to be in good shape. But The way this is packed, though, is, is really... 
it's good for me to see because, you know, if I ever have to ship something like this out again, I would normally just pack it in another box, but it's good to see that this is probably also a, uh, a reasonable way to do it. All right. I'll just drop this top off here. Yeah, it's really on there. I have been slightly less careful in the past about certain things. This diamond black behind me actually, um, in the video that I did on it, I actually dropped the control panel when I was working on it and nicked, nicked a little piece of it. So, you know, it was brand new. It's not quite so shiny anymore. All right, so our fancy original box, it's just a normal box with an Exa sticker on it. Nothing terribly special, I don't think. That's really the, the part that I'm going to worry about. Um, but, you know, I'll keep it anyway. It's It has a sentimental value. This is the first cave kit that I have bought new. I want to say ever. I did own... Um, I bought Futari and Dodonpachi Daifukatsu when they were new, relatively new, still um, still in the range, you know, like the thousand dollar range or whatever. I bought them and what I did at the time was I wanted to be able to play them so I I bought the kits. I, I, I think I bought them second hand but very but maybe only like a couple months after they came out. I played them, I enjoyed them and I sold them before the value dropped too much so that was back when I was you know more cash poor. Um, a way for me to be able to try the game, play it, you know, have some fun with it, and then and then sell it at not too much of a loss. Um, so anyway, that was that was a little bit about me in the past. So this is the first cave kit that I bought, probably truly new. Um, it's really exciting to get that again. So okay, here we go. We've got the box is open now, and on top, this is probably what was bouncing around. There is just a set of. JBS cables, power cables, um, and it looks like a DVI cable and two mounting brackets. So those will come in come in handy when we decide to actually mount it. Um, set these up here. It's nothing special. We have here our Exa Arcadia operation manual. This is version 1.4. Um, there was a software update that was um, that had to be done in order to run this. So anyone that had a unit before had to send it out and get it redone. Uh, this one is coming as a 1.4, so that's good. And here we have the, um, let's see, Exa Arcadia, and this is the service manual then. We've got those two there. Um, I may ask for PDFs of those. They're, they're rather useful to have digital, but um, those are good. Let's take out this top cardboard box part. And inside, we've got our kit. And uh, before I take anything out, I'm going to try and show it here. So you can see there's our beautiful um, Dodonpachi Side Iojo art with the, uh, on the, printed onto the case. Or, I don't know, I'm sure if it's a label, but I'm going to pull this out. Um, it is wrapped pretty... Oh, this is just okay. So this this piece of plastic just had, or this 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 cardboard has some plastic in between to help hold it into place. It's very nice. I'm gonna set this aside, and here we have the kit. Pull it out. Now, someone posted their their a picture of their kit on on uh, Arcade Projects recently, and they said theirs was number ten. So I'm assuming mine is number twelve. I'm gonna pull it up here to the camera real quick as it has a handwritten 12 in the corner up here. We've got an autograph down here. Let me make sure those can be out. Very beautiful. Now, the first thing that I'm noticing, this is a lot smaller than I thought it was gonna be. I'm not sure what I expected, but um, it, is, it is definitely a lot smaller than I expected. But that's, you know, it's nice. It's light. It's convenient. Um, pretty cool. I should actually also point out while I've got it up here that um, opening, opening or tampering with the PCB will void the, um, the warranty on it. I was specifically 
um, told not to do that. Like one of the, like, when I was getting ready to record this video, I kind of asked some questions just in case, um, cause I wanted to show off some stuff about the system and whatnot. You know, what lines not to cross and that's one I'm not going to cross. I'm not going to open it and show you guys the inside. So, all right, let me, I'm going to make my way back over here. I'm going to unwrap this sucker. Try and not that this plastic is particularly of any value, but I am going to carefully peel it and we'll get a look at the kit. Then I'm going to open up here the two kits that I picked up and uh, don't forget, I'm just gonna come on, I'll just tear it. There we go. Now, while this is a business purchase for me, obviously getting the collector's edition is, um, there's very little excuse that I can make for uh, getting this one in particular. One of them, though, is that I'm getting the standee for the arcade that I'm putting together, and it's one of those things that just makes it stand out um, as a, you know, as, as like, a, like a reputable good looking arcade but uh, so here we go um, I didn't look at these earlier but there's the four slots here to install your cartridges I've got the serial number here the model number and it is exa-01-dtde which I assume is specifically for Dodo Pachi um, but yeah it's very cool I've got a simple low profile graphics card here and we've got JVS so let's see if there's anything else in the book. There's in the box. There's one more of these uh, cardboard frames with the plastic, and that seems to be it. All right. So for now, I'm gonna set this back in the box. I'm gonna move this out of the way, and we're gonna open up our two kits. All right. Here we go. Again, nothing special. This one also has. You know, type B written on the on the box. I'll move this up here. Grab my knife and we'll cut this one open. I'm going to get the, the packing list out first. And just gently cut this out. Set this aside, and now I can cut this open. Okay, and inside, it looks like it is perfectly shaped ugh, for two kit boxes. Now, these are probably the boxes that I'm going to take extra good care of. Um, and someone on the Shmups forum, and I'm not sure if he's posted elsewhere, but specifically someone on the Shmups forum, I know for sure, is um, putting together an interest check for box protectors for these. So I will probably be picking those up. I think, I mean, it's good to contribute to uh, anyone in the community that does that kind of nice stuff. So here we've got our Aka to Blue Type R kit. It is Exa001, the first game that they released with this. And we have right here the, the gem and excitement of us all. Dotonpachi Sai Daiojo. And um, that is beautiful. So I'm going to open Akata Blue first. And uh, since, you know, this has been around for a little bit longer, I'm going to carefully just cut the tape on each end here. There's one there, one in the middle, one on the other end. Now I'm probably not sure what I'm going to do with art yet. If I'm going to put it on the the uh, 
the cab, you know, whatever whatever cab this ends up in. I might put the art in one of them, or if, if I can fit both, I'll try to fit both in some way so that they they are both displayed. I don't remember if they were doing a, um, like a mini marquee or something. I didn't really follow too much about X's release, but so here we go. It looks like inside, everything is inside a poster tube. That kind of makes sense because, um, you know, the kit itself, so yeah, here we go, actually, this is the dongle is, or the, the cart itself is rather small, it can fit inside, and then we've got here is going to be the poster and the art set, so I'm going to pull this out, I will show this, but it's going right back into the bag um, after this video, I'm going to keep these very safe, so here we go, inside the first thing we've got... There, that's the header art. Probably, you know, like a Vulix size is suspected. So maybe what I'll do is I'll put it in, I'll, I might put one of these in the Vulix. We've got the move set down here. Let's see if we've got anything underneath that. It looks like we have some, some cutout labels. Um, I might look at these a little bit closely later. I'll have pictures of all this stuff uploaded at a different time, so anyone who follows following the, the Twitter or Facebook page, you'll see these. And if you aren't following our Twitter or Facebook page, you should. Okay, so there's that. And here I'm gonna, let me throw something in there, no. Okay, so I'm gonna pull out the poster and I'll try to show this as gently as possible, but until I get a spot to put things, I'm probably going to leave these as they are. I don't have spare poster frames on hand, otherwise these would go right into it. Okay, Just slowly release that, and there we go. Okay, and uh, let's the bottom side. I don't have any way to hold this really without it curling without a second print. Oh, it looks like it'll come out. Okay, cool. So there is the Akato Blue poster. And uh, yeah, it's just the same as the hair art, but it's it looks really nice. So, okay, I'm not gonna leave this out for much longer. I'm just gonna here, drop the poster. And drop, actually, I'm gonna drop all this stuff up here. I'll come back and I'll put that away later. Okay. And the back for it. Okay, now let's open up this cartridge and I'll show you what the cartridge for this system looks like. Um, and actually it's, it's kind of surprising like I've I've seen pictures and some details about about the system, but I haven't actually really gotten a good visual look at everything like even the the user interface for for like multiple games I haven't seen any of that either so it'll be interesting when I fire these up it'll, it'll kind of be really fresh to me and new um, it's, it's really neat so okay I've got this opened up now and uh, I'm gonna pull this cartridge up here so same thing there is a warranty void if opened label on the side there um, so I'm obviously not going to open this up. And we've got a nice red and blue plastic for the cartridge. Um, because, of course, it is Akato Blue, which is red and blue. So there's the cartridge there. And, uh, you know, I've got X001. Um, numbering those, I, mean, I, I bet at some point there's someone that's going to want to collect everything. I think that won't be me. There's I'm going to end up supporting maybe the four games for this. And that's really it. Honestly, the third game that I pick up might be um, Mr. Gimmick, just because, um, you know, just to support my friend who who did all of the development and work on it. And it's a very, it's a fun, very good looking game. Anyway, that's the cartridge, and um, you know, we'll we'll take a little bit look closer with it when we get it installed in the in the cab back here. Okay. Let me come here, and we're going to start um, opening up Dotempachi. So pull that out of the box. Let's set this aside for later. And I will cut 
the tape gently. So one there, one here, and one here. I have very high hopes for this hardware. I know it's going to take, um, you know, more than a year or two to really take off and kind of do what it's setting out to do. And COVID has not made it any easier for them to accomplish what they're going for. So, I mean, the perfect example that this is, uh, Death Label is actually the, or what's it called, uh, Donapachi Saide Ojo is the 21st game that they made. So, you know, you can only go so far so fast. All right dump out this cartridge, if we can get it to come on out, I'll set it aside for now. And next we'll find the art set is on this end, let this come out, or oh, the whole thing's going to come out. Okay. And this actually looks like there's an extra poster in it. I wonder if, I don't know if that's a limited edition thing or not, but I have to undo all of this to get it out anyway. Um, yeah, I feel like this this post that I'm looking at right now is actually probably a, a limited edition extra. Um, they did say that there might be extra stuff with it that that was not announced. I don't know um, if that happened or not, but um, I'll look it up and probably put some comments on it in the the videos below. So here we go. We've got. And it looks like there's actually two different arts in here, maybe, but there you have the header art for the Vulix there. We've got the move strips in the bottom, and um, looks like there's two of those. I might have to open this up and see what the one underneath is, because it looks like there's also the... Um, no, actually, it looks like it's just two of the same. So, you know, if that happens not to be the case and I, I look it up, I'll... Um, Oh, no, 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 I get it. Okay, there's an English and a Japanese one. I should actually look at Akita Blue and see if that has it too. I think it's only one, but this has an English language and a Japanese language art coming with it, which is nice. So, um, yeah, that's cool. Um, and very, very thoughtful for them. From what I've heard, the game is language selectable in the test menu. So if I want to run it as a Japanese region for the authenticity of the, the game center thing I'm building, I can, or I can have it in English, you know, for events and whatnot. And, you know, even if this is a collector's edition PCB, I've, of course I'm going to bring it out. Um, it'll be really nice to have. All right, so next up, uh, we've got here, this looks like we've got header art specifically for the Vuix. Um, it might need to be cut, but I think it goes into the, the upper area of the Vuix. Just a label there. And this one is another instruction sheet. This looks like another instruction sheet in Japanese. So, but I mean, yeah, it's a, I, think, I think the idea is that they want to be able to put this in any cabinet and have, uh, you know, nice art for that. And, uh, you know, for what it is, that's nice. I mean, cave. Cave obviously cared a lot about this as well. Um, so here I'm going to pull out this first poster. We'll come to the second one after this. But this one is actually a double-sided poster. And uh, that's pretty cool. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing that one side is English and one side is Japanese. But oh, it's upside down. And yeah, that's what it looks like. So here we have the Japanese side of the poster. Um, And then we have on the other side is in English. That's pretty cool. All right, and the other poster, I, again, I th I'm pretty sure this one has to be um, either a limited edition thing or they just decided to throw it in um, as a bonus. And you know, I'll ask later, but this one also appears to be two-sided. And it is a swimsuit poster. Um, well, you can't really, I can't get it to show the bottom, but there is the Japanese side. And 
the other side. No, the other side's the same. There we go. Okay. The other side is here, the English side. Now, this poster um, is also made of a, a more of a glossy material than the other, uh, a little bit higher quality, but very cool. If it's an extra throw in, then uh, yeah, I'm happy with that. That's good. But we'll get these frames again. We'll get these frames some point long down the line. Um, I'll try and take some pictures of everything and uh, and post them over the next coming weeks. Um, actually, likely these, I'll, I'll post these pictures up before I actually do the video on the opening. All right, last thing here. This is the last thing we'll open before I set up on the, on the cab. I'm going to take a quick break um, once I show this, and I'll, I'll come back once I've got everything set up inside the cabinet. Okay, let's open this up, and we've got the Dotempachi. Side Iojo cartridge here. Now this one, it looks like it's kind of a teal blue all around. We've got the the warning label there and the cover. So yeah, that's really it. That's all there is to it. And um, I'm gonna be right back once I get everything dropped in the cabinet. I kind of made a little bit of a mess over there, so I'm gonna you know, take care of that real quick, but uh, well, when we come back, we will get that installed and get a first look at the system, um, and then we'll we'll move on to a couple other platforms and uh, do do a little look over on that. We'll be right back. All right, as I've realized, everybody, this video is already running pretty long. Um, I'm just going to do a power test of this x up and um, I'm actually going to follow up with gameplay for the next video in each of the cabinets that we do. So uh, first off, down here we've got the EXA. It has been put into the cabinet. And I'm going to pull the light down here and you can see got it all hooked up. Got the cartridges there. You can see they kind of stick out a fair amount inside those slots. Um, so yeah, just wanted to show that everything's hooked up. I also had to go and hook up the uh, DVI-D cable into this monitor because it um, the VGA that comes with the Vulix Diamond Black does not normally have that, and any of the adapters are not going to be uh, the same DVI. So anyway, I got this all hooked up. I haven't turned this on yet. This will be the first time, I promise you, that it is being turned on. I am sharing this experience with you. I have not testing it in advance to um, make sure or anything. So if this fails, well, you know, you'll you'll get to see it too. Not that, not that I expect it to. It's going to be good. Let me get this turned on here. And we'll come on up top and we can see what this does on boot. And there we have it. Exa Arcadia. Power to the Exa, as it is called. So... Let's take a look at this boot segment here. I might turn these lights off a little bit. They're pretty bright. Okay, so it's doing its boot thing. We've got the, uh, it's doing a little bit of a gradient from gray to dark. There we go. And here we have the EXA menu. So now, of course, we've only got two games in here. So those are the two that come up. Um, and up here, you can actually see there's the um, the two games that are in each slot. So three and four are empty. And here we've got the demo mode playing. We've got our credits set to zero, so we can use the joystick, scroll over, and there's Dolompachi. There we've got our scrolling text at the top there. Um, Everything is in Japanese, so I'm going to go, before we start anything at all, I'm going to fire up the test menu and take a look at what we've got in there, and then we'll come on back. Okay, so down here, test. And here is the EXA test menu, or the operator test menu. So we've got menu settings, IO test, monitor settings, date, time, booking, terms of use. Okay, so... I'm going to come up to menu settings first, and we've got a track sound, leaving that, I'll leave that on, auto start game, 
Uh, let's see what we've got here. Single game, random off. Uh, or just leave it as a single game, I think it is. Oh, okay, well that, that exited me. Let me go back out, I think it's... Oh, excuse me. Okay, so let's go back menu settings. We've got also have your coin counter, um, and it's set to coin play and regions. So region is set to Japan, and we can set that to world if we want. I'm just going to set it to world just so that we can see. Um, well, I'm not sure if it's if I'm supposed to just highlight it and then go back, but every time I hit button one, it seems to exit the test menu. Let me find that button again. Okay. So let's do an, uh, actually let's do monitor settings real quick. Let's see, set resolution by cabinet type. That's good. And right now, so here's our options. We've got 480p, 768 for those. And then diamond, black diamond should be set to 1080p already. Um, so this is actually really convenient looking. It's got a lot of little, a lot of settings in here to make it easy to choose your type. So current settings are 1080p and uh, our orientation is horizontal, resolution HD. So now I'm not going to set those dip settings uh, since I don't have a rotated Vulix right now. Maybe, um, actually I do, I have um, I have the F at the warehouse that's rotated. Maybe I'll throw it in there and we can use that just to show it. I'm not a big preference of playing even even these vertical games that way, so um, I'm probably not going to do that long term. But I'll try in the next video since since there's uh, I'm sure there's a lot of cabinet types that we want to try out. Um, that might be one of those. I'll try it in that. Okay, so we can set resolution manually, and there we go. We can also set it to four four K, which I checked, and it's um it's four K off of the HDMI port. The rest of these um, off of DVI-D. So. So that and let's do our monitor tests which I mean this monitor is literally brand new this cabinet is brand new but um you know we can see the everything there let's go back and uh, what else do we want to check we're keeping no no that's fine okay let's go to menu settings I wonder I should actually set it to uh, free play there we go okay so um, I'm gonna start up with Aka to Blue and just uh, see how it goes. So there, now we've got the scrolling text up here is in English. Um, it looks like that is now in English as well, both of the titles. Um, yeah, so again, I'm not gonna really do gameplay this time around. I'm just gonna start this up. Um, what is it? Press start. There we go. Oh, we didn't do an I.O. test. I'll finish with an I.O. test, maybe. Um, but there we've got Aka to Blue starting up. So it comes up as one coin, one credit. Now, I did set it to... I did set it to free play, I think. So let me check, maybe... Um, Maybe that didn't save, but let's go. Oops, that's not the right button. Where? There we go. Okay, there we go. Test button. Okay, so here's the test mode for this. I guess um, maybe these configurations are um, separate per game. So yeah, they're language, Japanese, so I can change that here. Language, let's, let's just search the English, see what we've got. Let's turn this to... Free play, oh. free play, and yeah, all that stuff. Arcade 916. So I assume, yep, so 3 4 there, and uh, nine, okay, so we're gonna leave that the way it is. It's all good. Let's see. So this, I believe, would go to, oh, no, go IO test for this. Buttons one, two, and three, up, down, left, right. I mean, these are all, I expect all this to work. But anyway, cool. Just uh, interesting. Let me, okay, let me press test service and get out of here. And we'll see the language change. Exit. 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 
Okay. So it looks like the stuff on the side is still in um, Japanese and whatnot, but the game itself, now we got free play and there we go. Okay, so I think that about sums it up for this video. I'm going to go, one of the things I'm going to do is sit down and go over each cabinet that I put it in. I'm, I'm not that picky on timing, so it's kind of hard for me to um, tell, but I definitely want to kind of see how they play on different cabinets and uh, give a good impression on that. So when, it, when we do the next video, and I'll be doing, um, when we get that, uh, the standee in, I'll be doing that on the next video as well. And we'll go over, we'll kind of play play some of the games, we'll do some gameplay, um, you know, test each cabinet, and I'll give you kind of my basic impressions on them. Also, you know, just to show show the EXO working on each of them, since uh, it is compatible with, as you saw from the test menu, a very wide variety of, of uh, cabinet hardware, so. At any rate, that does it for this video. I'm very excited to get all this stuff. This is the first time I really, um, dished out a large amount on something neat that you know it's I mean it's mainly for me it uh and it's just pretty exciting so we'll um we'll check out both Akato Blue and Dodonpachi Saidaiojo once we do that um thanks for watching this video if you want to see pictures of this stuff you'll be able to see them on my uh Facebook page and um Twitter so feel free to give me a follow and uh We'll see you there. Until the next video, when we get the rest of this done, happy holidays, and again, a happy, hopefully, beautiful 2021 to all of us. Um, see you next time.